We wanted to play a game like this. I believe that second, third and fourth quarter were very good. The first quarter we didn't understand the way to play, but uh, the only bad thing that we got two players injured, Gedraitis and Brady Manek. We'll see in the next hours how it is, but overall it was a solid game. Norėjome sužaisti būtent tokias rungtynės, antras, trečias ir ketvirtas keliniai buvo tikrai labai geri. Pirmajame galbūt nesupratome, kaip norime žaisti ir vienintelis blogas dalykas iš šių rungtynių, kad turime du turimuotus žaidėjus, Gedraitį ir Meneką ir artimiausių metų matysime, kokia yra jūsų situacija. One, the team's energy, and number two, decision making, because it seems like they, this great uh, three-point percentage is not, not, not an accident. You know, you found the open man and, and the ball moved well. When you have 20, 28 assists out of 39 basket you make, that means that you're moving the ball well. And uh, I always ask my team to have pur a purpose. It, on the paper, it look an easy game, but we're coming from a tough battle in Belgrade, and we wanted to find rhythm and to play the right way, and we did it. So I'm very happy how we moved the ball. The klausimas buvo apie komandos rodytą energiją ir sprendimų priėmimą, kai būdavo surandami laisvi žaidėjai. Tai 28 rezultatyvus perdėmai parodo, kad tikrai kamulys gerai judėjo, ypač komandai grįžus po tokio sunkių rungtynių Belgrade. Nors ant popierus atrodo, kad lengva pergalė, tačiau būtent tie sprendimai ir geras kamulio judėjimas šiam buvo geras. Coach, in Belgrade you talked about players being too shy and not aggressive enough. In terms of uh, aggressiveness, were you happy today? I would be happy when we ha will have this kind of aggressiveness in a Euroleague game. Klausimas buvo, ar tenkino komandos agresyvumas, nes Belgrade buvo minėta, kad komanda gal buvo per kukli. Tai būčiau labai patenkintas, kad toks agresyvumas būtų Eurolygos rungtynėse. On more positive note, it was first Massimiliano Menetis game at Jalgirio Arena. Maybe you had a chance to talk already with him after the game, how he enjoyed the atmosphere. I want that he sees what is Jalgirio Arena in it. Euroleague night. So he I know that he's waiting for something like this. Klausimas buvo apie tai, kad treneris Menetė pirmą kartą turėjo rungtynę Žalgirio arenoje. Tai treneris atsakė, kad norėtų, kad kolega treneris pamatytų atmosferą Euroleague rungtynėse ir to ir laukia. Um, it's a bit, bit of a longer uh, question comment, but uh, you know, not exactly a nail biter on the court. So, well, when commentating, we had to find some additional stories. And Lukas Lekavičius actually today he passed Tanaka Bird, and he's now sixth in all-time scoring uh, in Jalgiris. In, uh, in who's El first? First, I what's your guess? I, I'm asking. I don't want to Polis, make this. Polis, eh? Jankunas. Jankunas. Yeah. But he so, played 27 exactly. years. Exactly. So he's he's first by far. So Lucas is now sixth. I mean, maybe maybe a couple of words about Lucas's performance today, but also the past the past few weeks. Luki is first of all a Jalgiris kid, and I see him only playing with this jersey. Can be Balta or Jel. So it's something that he has is a second skin. And uh, we know Luki can really be aggressive to score. And I'm happy. I will try to ask him to do more things because he, the best skill he has that he does, is not afraid. And you need players that are play with a lot of courage. So he may look the smaller, but he's play, he always play bigger than his size. So I'm, I'm happy that slowly he's getting there. Klausimas buvo apie Luka Lekavičių, kuris šiandien pakilo į šeštą vietą Žalgirio rezultatyviausių LKL žaidėjų suraše. Tai treneris atsakė, kad Lukas yra Žalgirio 
vaikas, aš jį esu matęs tik tai su žaliais ir baltais smarškinėliais, jisai visada žaidžia agresyviai pelnant taškus, tačiau aš jo vis prašau, kad jisai darytų ir daugiau dalykų, tačiau nors jis yra ir mažo ūgio, tačiau tikrai žaidžia geriau nei tas ūgis atrodo. Lukas, we are the one that scored a hundredth point. Is that team dinner on him tonight? Sushi. We are going to have sushi tomorrow. Lukas pelnė šimtąjį tašką, todėl rytoj laukia sushi. But also, Arinovičius is going to help to have sushi because he missed a layup for 100 points in the last game and he did it on purpose because he has very short hands. He's like a crocodile, cannot reach the pocket, okay? Mm -hmm. But because I see these things, he will do 50-50 with Luki. He'll bring the soy sauce. Yes. Tai prisidės ir Dalinėrius Lavrinovičius, kuris praeitose rungtynėse neįmėte šimtą tašką, nes turi gan trumpas rankas ir gal nepasisekė iki šianės, tačiau turės prisidėti. First, congratulate to the to Žalgiris, they show their, their level, their, their quality. Uh, yeah, I think first, first half we were too impressed and some some turnovers they they, they catch on also on this and uh, I think first half we didn't respond on the physicality so that was the main point after second half we, we catch somehow the rhythm we have some problem in defense not stopping fouls but okay in front of us it's it's, it's a lot of job yeah that's it. Sveikinu Žalgirį su Pergalė, jie šiose rungtynėse parodo savo lygį ir kokybę. Pirmoje pusėje mus žudė klaidos, taip pat nesusitvarkime su fiziškumu. Antroje pusėje šiek tiek ritmą pagavome, bet vis tiek Pergalės pritruko. It seemed like Žalgiris took the lead from the very beginning of the game. What didn't work out in the beginning of the game? Like I mentioned, this we didn't respond on physicality because if you play against Euroleague team, first you need to respond on this one because for sure they have better this one. If you, if you don't respond first, you have problem and after this you need to come back. And this was from the start, I think, the main problem. Klausimas buvo, kas nepavyko rungtynių pradžioje. Taip kaip ir minėjau, daugiausiai truko fiziškumo, kai prieš Eurolygos komandą neatsakai į to pačiu, tai susidaro skirtumas ir tada sunku jau grįžti į rungtynės. It seemed like Jokubas Rubinas bring a lot of energy from the bench. How would you rate his performance? Offensively, he did good, yeah, he did good, he did his job, but he need to improve much defensively and, yeah. I see him, you know, in much, much, he can perform it much bigger, this quality, but he, he need to work in this next period. Klausimas buvo apie Jakubą Rubiną, kuris įnešė šią energijos, kaip treneris vertina jo pasirodymą. Tai polime Jakubas tikrai sužaidė gerai, atliko savo darbą, o gynyboje turi šiek tiek pasistengti, tačiau turi potencialą. Coach, at the very end of the game, after the buzzer, we saw you kind of going to, I think, Andrea Trinkieri for a small chat. Was it something, I don't know, specific you wanted to discuss or uh, if you can share any, any, anything about that? No, no, no. It was uh, after the end of the game? No, we just congratulate you. And they, they, they performed today great and, yeah, just we speak a little bit on, on, on Serbian and that's it. Klausimas buvo apie parungtynių pasisveikinimas su Andrija Trinkieri ar buvo kažkas specifiškai kalbėta. Tai treneris tiesiog pasveikino kitą trenerį su pergalę, apsikytę keliom frazėm, nes abu kalba serbiškai. <laughs>